Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Taurus for mid-month September of 2019. Your monthly readings are already up, so you can check those out. Um, it does have the energy healing to go along with it, which everyone loves, so definitely check those out. In this message, in this reading, you're going to get the message from Spirit, um, and I do have a few other decks to pull out. Um, <clears throat> I do want to let you know that I do have my mentorship available for purchase. Um, it is an eight week program that I'm going to take you through the process that I went through, uh, when everything went south with my marriage, um, to becoming happier than I've ever been. So how, in, how to get through, you know, when people don't treat you right, um, how to realize and recognize the thoughts and, um, emotional triggers that, are holding you back from moving on with your life and being completely happy and in, in alignment. <clears throat> so if you're interested in that, sorry with my throat, if you're interested in that, you can go ahead um, in the description box below uh, and also in the comments, you can find out more details, but I hold your hand through the whole process to really help you transform your life, your mind, um, and, and move forward, move forward and feel something again and, and be excited to be alive and be excited to wake up every day. So if that interests you, it is down below. All right, so let's get to the reading. Um, the overall energy here you have is the four of wands. So I feel like this is coming together. It's appreciating other people. I feel good energy throughout this reading, guys. Awesome. I feel like the healing has already started to begin with you guys. So I don't know what you're doing different. Let me know in the comments. Like, I'm really excited for you for this. Um, but you've got the four of wands. So this is all about connection. So some of you might have new somebody new in your life is what I'm seeing. Um, or just get getting stronger with the bonds of the people around you is what I'm seeing here for you. You have the Empress card, you have the High Priestess, and you have the King of Wands. And over here, you have intuitive feelings. You know, I'm, I'm feeling like some of you are really diving into your spirituality and really starting to connect to a higher source, okay? Because that's what the High Priestess is all about. And in doing that, it is it is giving you the messages that you need to... to um, maybe for career or money purposes with this wands is like, or it's changing who you are to be more dominant, to be more um, go-getting, to to go after what you want. So it's it's just changing with inside of you, the empress side. So I feel like you have a, um, a feminine and a masculine energy here and through it, it's balanced with your intuition. I have no freaking idea what I'm talking about. So let me know how it's resonating with you. But this is the energy that I'm feeling that they're bringing to me is that you're learning to balance yourself. So this might be about emotions, um, your thoughts, you're learning to not become so reactive and to really kind of balance you out. <laughs> wow. Okay. Down here, you've got the Ace of Wands. So the end of the month, you've got the Ace of Wands, you have the Seven of Wands, and you have the King of Cups. So you've got two kings energy uh, with the Empress. There's a lot of freaking powerful energy here. So I feel like you're standing in your own. You can see the seven of wands. This is about recognition. This is about, you know, being proud of yourself. So be proud of who you are right now. Be proud of the steps that you've taken for change. Um, you got the ace of wands. So this is something new for you. Now, this could be in business. So you might have, because you got the wand, you got the king of wands, you got the ace of wands, and you got the four of wands over here. So definitely could be in some kind of business career type of situation where maybe you've gone out, you've listened to your intuition and maybe you faced your fear and went and applied for some place or started your own business or something like that, especially with the King of Wands, definitely could be going out and venturing on your own, starting your own thing um, and being proud, like take a stand for that, like, and be proud of what you've done and, and what you've accomplished because you've gotten into the, the King's energy energy here. So that is really, um, and I feel as though you've let go of some stuff that has been holding you back from this energy. So really freaking awesome. 
And then you've got the Wheel of Fortune and I'm, I'm just feeling like there's better to come. There's just better to come. Just keep doing what you're doing and recognize that the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning. Do not be blinded to this, the type of progress that you have made here. Be excited for yourself and keep moving forward. You have over here, listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So these messages, you have the high priestess, you have this, like, like you are on high alert here. There are, you are being downloaded, like there have been downloads been sent to you. So a download is something like all of a sudden you're in the shower and this like thought comes to you. You have no idea where the hell it came from, but it's just there. And it's like, you've got to do it or follow it or whatever. And these are things that are coming to you for a reason. It's like you are, your crown chakra is open. The divine sees that and it is pushing stuff to you and you're following it. And I feel as though you are seeing the progress within that. All right. Very, very like I'm, wow. Let me know if you're taking like psychic courses or um, if you were in my Heal Your Life course, like because I feel as though you have opened a gateway to the divine. Um, release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. Yeah, guys. <sighs> wow. So when you're opening this, when you open this gateway, you're on like a whole nother dimension, I would say. Um, your vibration is higher. You're, you're connecting more. And when you do that, things are going to let you, things are going to fall away. And it's funny because right before I shuffled the tower card, oh, that makes so much sense now. The tower card was on the bottom of the deck. And I was like, oh, okay. Because usually I face the deck down, but this was face up and I saw the tower card. And that is just stuff falling away from you. And when you get more in alignment and when you connect to the divine more, these things are going to just fall away. Let them, let them. Holding on to a lower vibrational something is is very, <clears throat> you're going to be in resistance if you're in a higher vibration and you're trying to hold on and force something with a lower vibration. Okay. All right. So the vampire card that we have, um, is seduction and it says allure, desire, manipulation. All right. So here we go. If you haven't seen me with my vampire cards, I do read from the book because I love the author. Um, and I love the art on the cards powerful, powerful messages here. So here we go. This beautiful bed is the place where someone greeted their unspoken desire and where they met their end. It is the place to which so many of you are drawn, even when you know the outcome may be dangerous. This card comes to you now to warn you, empower you, and ask you to heed. The one who knows what it is you want has a plan for you, and that plan involves their own satisfaction. There is one about you who understands very deeply what people desire, and most especially that you desire. It is not so simple and crass as sexual satisfaction, or a kind of food, or even a job or status in life you are being offered. It is the deep feeling that you are understood, accepted, and desired for who you are. But it is a truth that the, this person who is now seducing you is doing so with ve every kind of ability to stifle and inhibit inhibit it. you know what I'm saying, your life force. This is not to say that you must look about you now with suspicion of all people. You must simply become aware of your desires and your vulnerabilities. This card is a call to self-knowledge, to understand that when you are called to the beautiful bed, you may be drained. You may even die to be a part of yourself, for you will come to know that the love that has been offered to you has been for the satisfaction of another. If you do go to the bed of the vampire, you will leave a part of yourself there. Someone about you is ready to seduce you. If you choose to be seduced, they will have what they want and you will lo lose more than you know. Be careful. You are, the blessing of this card is you are now able to discern much more clearly between people who are healthy for you and people who you would do well to avoid. You are no longer feeling guilty for saying no to attractive advances. The curse of this card is it is time to reassess a friendship or the kinds of people and situations you find attractive. Are you inviting unwelcome dramas and situations into your life? 
And then the way to work with this card is you are able to resist unhealthy advances from manipulative people at this time. You are no longer available for others to make use of you. I actually feel like this card is what you've changed here or that you need to change. So if, if, this is, if this is resonating with you and you have these people in your life that are taking advantage of you or using you for whatever they need you for, um, it's going to cause all of this. So I feel as though this is, this is the change that is the... Um, I can't think of my words today. I'm sorry. Response. So um, it's not the word. But this is created from this. When you choose to let go, when you choose to know yourself so well that you put, you have your boundaries up, that you do not let people that are going to hurt you in and you listen to your intuition, this comes from this is what I'm trying to say here. So some of you have already done this and are aware of this person and have maybe with the tower card eliminated this person or th situation from your life. Others of you are start still dealing with this. And when you choose to let go of it, all of this greatness comes in. Okay. That is what I'm trying to say. All right. Um, so I hope this resonates with you. Give me a thumbs up on the video if it does. And you can leave me some comments below. Let me know how it resonates with you. Let me know if you guys are really reaching out and getting and tuning into those psychic abilities. I would love to hear. And then also, um, yeah, if you want to join me in my mentorship, it does start September 22nd. So make sure you get in now. And um, there's only a uh, limited seating. All right. Much love to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of September and I will see you guys soon. Bye.